finally have one. Tall order drone cassette hub. It's not mine personally. I, uh, I tend to lace a lot of wheels for people and this is the first time someone came to me with tall order hubs. People ask me, what hub can I buy that is similar to the Elite but doesn't cost as much? And without even having one myself, I always said, well, the tall order drone hub is a really good option. I have friends that have a drone cassette hub, so I've ridden on their bike so I know what it feels like. I know what it sounds like, which is something you guys think is very important. So, that being said, here she is. I'm going to take a look at the hub, um, tell you guys what I think, what I like, what I maybe don't like, why you should or should not buy this hub, and at the end of the video, I'll probably have this laced up, put it in a bike, and have you guys listen to what it sounds like. First of all, let me start by saying, this is the front hub, which I already laced up. I don't know if you guys see, this one has black bolts. This has silver bolts. I would have had the same color bolts. That's like a, that's a, that's a thing. Right out of the box, and I noticed that with the front hub, when I laced it up, it doesn't roll as smooth as I would have expected it. Could be because the bearings are new and there's a lot of grease in these. I just don't think it really turns that smooth. This cassette hub isn't that bad. This front hub, I'm actually not really happy with. If, if this were mine, it just feels, it feels off. For an average hub, these bearings are just fine. They're A-OK. -okay. Compared to what I'm used to, uh, they could have been smoother. So, let's take a look. Immediately I see that this is a 14 millimeter bolt, so that means that the axle is oversized, probably 17. What I like about female hubs like this is the fact everything can slide on and off. Ugh. This lock nut is the next thing I'm not very fond of with this hub. Um, this dust seal on here, it's just too, too flimsy in my opinion. Like it locks onto the hub or it locks onto the driver very well. It's just, it's so flimsy. I've opened this up before. I was very surprised when I pulled out the driver that it only has three pawls, three pawls and springs. Each pawl has very, very small teeth on it. I would have expected a direct engagement hub such as this one would have a lot more pawls and springs to the driver and it doesn't, so I'm surprised. The driver design, it looks like a bushing, so there's no bearings in the driver. The benefit of having a driver like this is it's lightweight because it really doesn't really weigh much. It's, it's light. Again, on this driver, I don't like the dust cap or the dust seal. It's just, it's just flopping around. The hub in general is a pretty light hub. The hub shell, the design is very basic. It looks well machined. Um, the bearings fit in nicely. There's a lot of grease in the hub. So that tells you a couple things. Well, it doesn't really tell you a couple things. It tells you one thing. That the people that manufactured this hub actually put in the effort to add grease to the hub. So you know it's well made. And that they did not cheap out on not using any grease. I checked the website and I noticed they have a lot of replacement parts available for the hub which is a very good thing because nothing's worse than having a broken hub and having to wait for a very long time until you have replacement parts. So the verdict, would I buy or recommend a tall order drone cassette hub? I think yes. I like the design, it's very basic, it's easy. If something breaks, you can replace the parts. It is easy to work on, there's not much parts to it. The only thing I don't like is the dust seal that's on the cone nut that goes onto the driver. That's the only thing I really don't like about the hub. 
So if you're looking for a good, reliable, decent priced hub, direct engagement that sounds unique, this is definitely a good hub for you. I'm gonna lace this wheel up and then we're gonna listen to the sound. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and I'll answer it as best as I can. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you with the next one.